Right. All right. Hello, everybody. I am Mad Mega X381, and this is not new Ghostbusters 2. This is just Ghostbusters 2. So this is still indeed a bad game. I promise you. So we'll get started here, uh, nice and quick. Uh, we select the one player. Uh, you can see the Ghostbuster standing in the uh, bottom of the screen there, a little shadow. And uh, we'll go in three, two, one. And this is Vigo. This is some of the best pixel art ever. He makes some pretty awesome uh, faces. And uh, we have to uh, beat him. We have to we have to save the world from that guy. So we do that by playing a very weird game that has no idea what it wants to be. Um, so this looks kind of normal, right? Like, yeah, you're a Ghostbuster, and you're oh that that Slimer sometimes gets you. So I had to be careful there for a second. Uh, so, but you're running to the left, which is super wrong, right? Like you're supposed to run to the right in video games. And um, you'll have to take my word for it, but I'm hitting A to shoot, which uh, everybody knows is weird. Uh, all right, that was a pretty good stage. Just give it a hand. And uh, face, I guess. And that was that was our first stage. Now it's uh, now we're in Ecto One. Uh, so this is this is why I kind of love this game. So I, I played this game a lot as a kid because I love the Ghostbusters. The Ghostbusters are like my favorite uh, like franchise. Uh, when I was a kid, I had all like the Ghostbusters action figures and all that stuff. So this was the game that was released in the United States uh, for Ghostbusters fans. Um, and I think it was mostly because um, Nintendo hated us. Uh, instead of giving us New Ghostbusters 2, uh, which is actually a pretty decent game uh, and a lot of fun to play and has really cute Ghostbusters, um, we got this. Oh, that, uh, at least I got to show off uh, what Ecto-1 looks like when it gets slimed. So that it's not all bad that that just happened. Oh. Okay, that was that was a little questionable. Everything that just happened there. Um, I've been having trouble with that sequence uh, for some reason. Uh, those, <laughs> the uh, those arrows that you roll over, uh, they they make you go faster, but sometimes they don't work. So, uh, I've I've had to react a little bit better. Uh, so this is the second like on rail stage or on or walking stage. This is this is Winston Zedmore. Uh, why we control him in the courthouse, I don't quite understand because he shows up in the courthouse scene in the movie for all of like I don't know five seconds. Um, but you know, hey, I'm not gonna you know judge the 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 people that designed this game. Uh, I'm not gonna ask questions. They they made a Ghostbusters game, and when I was a kid, I was happy about that. Uh, so there's a big Slimer. I should talk about why the big Slimer is is such a problem. And the big Slimer is such a problem because uh, you can't hurt him with the slime. You have to. Uh, you actually have to throw the trap down to catch him. Uh, and so that's that's how you handle that. But um, you, I have to tell you this because you you can't see my hands to know this. But uh, you drop a trap by pressing start, and so that means that there is no way to pause this game. Okay. So, normally, you know, video games, you can pause them, not, not this game. So, uh, if you start playing this game, you're, you're going to finish or you're going to die. That's just how it goes. So, this is, this is in Central Park. Um, this is, you know, nice and simple. We get uh, some, ghost, some extra ghosties that we get to kill. Oh, dear. Okay. Whew. Almost missed him. Almost missed. You don't want that. So there's a little time bonus here. Some more Vigo. Making some faces. Wait, does he give us the lip curl? There it is. There's the lip curl. Love it. Uh, now we get to play as Egon. Uh, so so, we, so far we've seen three of the four Ghostbusters. We've seen uh, Raymond to start. And we've seen uh, Winston. And now we get to see uh, Egon. And that was, that was an unfortunate set of spawns there. Uh, sometimes the way that the ghosts spawn, um, you, you all, if you keep moving, you are going to get hit, and it's really hard to dodge them. Um, and unfortunately, I've had some bad luck here uh, with getting hit by some things. So 
we're we're far less healthy than we'd really like to be at this point in the game but um that just means that i gotta gotta catch some extra lives in uh, the next stage which we should be able to do but because we've had a bit of a rough go of it we're gonna take this like extra super cautious because no reason to be especially crazy i hope that everybody likes 8-bit chip tunified versions of higher and higher because we've got that for the foreseeable future. So this this is Lady Liberty, uh, and we get to play two stages with her. Um, and they're kind of these like shmuppy sections that are kind of like totally different from the rest of the game. Um, I missed the, the torch there, which lets me aim. Currently, I can only shoot straight up in the air, uh, which is not great, but we make it work. Uh, you'll notice that she's carrying her tablet. That's actually a bomb. Uh, it cleans the screen, uh, and you can use that to uh, get rid of uh, ghosts that show up. Um, I try to use those in, in waves that are especially difficult to deal with. Um, there aren't really any in this first Lady Liberty section. This Lady Liberty section is pretty simple. It's uh, the the harbor section is not very very tough, which is nice. Um, unfortunately, I'm kind of getting unlucky here because they didn't give me a second uh, torch. Usually, the the torches will come by and you can grab them, and we can use that to uh, to get through the stage a little faster. But no such luck this time. But that's all right. Uh, so there's there's five waves, and we go through that twice. This is the fifth wave, which I think was a movie uh, with Chloe Grace Moretz, maybe? Am I remembering that? I don't know. Don't ask me. All right, so now uh, we're on to wave, and of course I get hit immediately after picking up the, uh, the ability to aim, so now I can no longer aim again. That's okay. All right, so... Uh, I, I beat that round that wave by throwing the bomb up and that took care of everything on the screen and if you if you hit if you drop the bomb and you set it you set it up and you fire it at uh, any time there are three ghosts on screen it will end a wave so that's a really good way for us to finish um, to finish waves off and be fast um, what one thing you'll notice is um, Okay, good. We got the in invulnerability. So you'll see that these like bonus stages happen, right? And so the key to the bonus stages is that they happen if you don't take damage uh, on certain rounds. Um, so we try to use that to our advantage. Uh, if we're if I was trying to go for like absolute world record time, I would actually be taking intentional damages to be able to avoid those bonus rounds. But uh, not the case here. I want to be. Uh, I want to have extra health. I want to be safe. Uh, wait, can we get it? There it is. There's the lip curl. I love the Vigo lip curl. Makes me happy. All right. So now we have some clouds we have to fight. Uh, I'm waiting until I see three on screen if I can help it. Um, because then that way that ends that that entire round uh, right away. And it, yeah, it does cause a uh, a bonus round, but given that I don't have a ton of lives and the end of this game can be really cruel. Um, uh, you know, it's it's Vigo after all. He's he's a cruel guy. Um, yeah, I think that was one of his nicknames. Uh, Vigo the Cruel. Uh, the Sorrow of Moldavia. I think uh, Vigo the Butch was maybe another one. I don't know. I'm gonna get this. Get another one. Uh, these ghosts are, are... So, so the ghosts that come up from below the skyline are especially problematic because if you're just randomly shooting like this per se uh what can happen is is that those ghosts uh can spawn underneath you and you will kill it and because you kill it it's it's hitbox stops moving and it will cause damage to you so you have to you have to be a little more judicious in shooting as opposed to just you know firing away randomly but uh we're doing okay now we have invisible enemies which makes you know no sense Hopefully we got three. I don't think we did. Oh, we did. All right. Woohoo! That is, that is way better um, than I was expecting. Uh, you can't see them, so I'm kind of guessing there um, because you can't kill those ghosts quickly because you can't see them. So, you know, it's like, what am I supposed to do? It's not ideal. 
but here, this is me moving the arm back and forth. It's uh, you know, like at a like a Leonard Skinner concert. You know, Lady Liberty's uh, you know, she's she's doing her doing her thing with her lighter. But this is the fifth wave. Uh, we have uh, one more uh, one more time through of all five waves. And they're uh. There we go. Whoo! Just got it. Nice. And I think I got an invincibility. Uh, so there's a there's a regular ghost uh, that'll fly around uh, from left to right, and it just looks like a like a like your standard uh, like kid um, you know ghost costume where they're just like wearing a sheet. If you hit that ghost, he gives you invulnerability. So we try to grab that because then uh, it means that we get through these stages immediately and we get the bonus rounds, um, which, like I said, we don't wouldn't normally want, but uh, I want them now because I want to get as many lives as possible. Try to avoid uh, unfortunate happenings. In uh... oh, okay, good. We got the we got the. I'm not sure what hit me there. Uh, that was not uh, that was not ideal. That happens. And I got invulnerable, but I don't think, yeah, that's unfortunate. I, uh, I got hit right as, uh, I hit the invulnerability, so I lost, uh, that last, uh... And that should be the end of the- okay, good. So we are done. We are all done with the Statue of Liberty, and you see her put her- put her foot down here. <laughs> that's Lady Liberty putting her foot down. She's done with this nonsense. So now we go back to Raymond Stands. And, uh, now we're in... Four stages in a row in this crazy town uh, that everything is gray. It's it's just it's just gray. It's it's not like I'm gray. The walls are gray. The 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 the, the, the these random these candelabras, which every time I play this uh, for any uh, stream or marathon, I always point out that you see a bunch of candelabras, and uh, that's always awesome because the word candelabra is just. Oh, it's, it's a wonderful word. Uh, I wish that there were more excuses to say it. I think that's the reason I still run this game, is uh, I'm really just looking for excuses to say that word. And so we've had a little bit of trouble with stands here. For some reason, Raymond has been giving me some real trouble, but that's okay. I think we should have plenty of life to get through this. Now we get Winston. We get these four Slimers right in a row uh, to start here. Uh, and we take them out because we really don't want to run the risk of getting slimed here. Winston is one of the ones that we should be able to get through without um, taking more than one hit, uh, he says. Uh, it's all right. We're, we're good. I wouldn't, I wouldn't worry too much. Uh, let's see. Going to take that. So you notice that the Slimers like throw down like little balls of red slime. Those don't hurt you, but what they do is they stop you from moving. And that's a real problem. So we don't like that. Um, we we, we want to be able to move. It would just let me run in place, basically, which is a great way to get hit by uh, this stuff that's like running, or, that's like moving around randomly on the screen. So we're trying to avoid that as best we can. So you know what? We're going to be just extra cautious. Um, I see no reason not to be. I feel like our time is, is OK. We've still got three lives. But things get a little more difficult from here on out, because here's Spengler. I'm going to throw that down. And there you see that spider. Uh, that's that's Egon Spidler. He's a, uh, he's a spider that chases you. I don't know why he chases you. I just know that he does. And if he catches you, he does damage. And uh, so you can't actually not play this game fast. There's uh, no way uh, to beat this game, like, especially slowly. You, you really do need to play it. Uh, like, if you beat this game, you've effectively speedrun it, is, is kind of the way that I look at it. And I was never able to beat it as a kid, so... Uh, one of the reasons why I decided to learn it a few years back, and... Now it's, uh, it's, it's one of my favorite games to come back to and, and just mess with some, because... You know, I, I remember all of the, the torment that I had playing this game as a kid, and now I can now I can come through and whew, that that you that's that Slimer wanted to just right in my face, just right there. 
Uh, this is where I used to get to as a kid. I used to get right here as Peter Venkman, this last stage here. Uh, this last stage is brutal. In fact, uh, like the speedrun strats that I normally use, uh, they make this much easier to beat, but also you're generally taking damage intentionally in a couple of places um, because it's just easier. So like right here, I throw a trap down and then I intentionally get hit there um, because that is far and away the easiest way to get through that section. You can do it legitimately and not take damage, but it is very slow. Uh, so we like to do it that way. This, this section, those, those random bouncy things are funky. Uh, it's hard to get under them, so we don't bother. We're gonna throw this down and, yep, perfect. Got that last Slimer. We're gonna jump here, take a hit, and this is time coming up right here. Oh, <laughs> probably should have jumped again. And that's time. It is like the most anticlimactic ending. We hit, uh, Vigo with some slime, and... There you go. That's it. <laughs> we saved New York. <laughs> all right, that's that's all for me. I'm glad I got to show this off at a play in a, in a marathon that is worthy of this title, the Big Bad Gameathon. It is definitely bad. It is certainly big. Uh, thank you for having me. I really appreciate it. Uh, enjoy enjoy uh, everything coming up and. Uh, I'll see everybody around.